I'm Deborah Buck. I'd like to introduce you to my new book, The Windows of Buckhouse, Fabulous Fictional Females. I'm an artist and a designer, and I've always been a painter. My painting really informs everything that I do, every creative project that I make. I like to tell a story. I think in terms of color and texture and light and forms, and that's part of what happened with this new book. We started with one big idea, one bold piece of furniture, and then built a personality and articulated that personality as we went on. Each layer of definition created a sharper picture of who the fabulous fictional female was. I like to think of them as a puzzle and that if you look carefully, you'll find the Foo Dog, our logo, has been snuck into different pieces. In that way, I want it to be something that unravels so that it's not only the story of these women, but the story of the making and, and the story of Buckhouse and the clues that we put in the different windows. We took uh, pictures of the royals and uh, photoshopped them so that they were all wearing Buckhouse blue. We changed in the backdrop the Beefeaters red jackets to Buckhouse blue jackets, which I particularly loved, and then flew the Buckhouse flag over Buckingham Palace. As I look back at, uh, through the book, it's amazing to me how much fun we had while we did this. We went to Belmont because we needed to rent tack. We needed to rent a bridle and a saddle and hats, etc. Ended up having racing silks made for Buckhouse with our logo and the magenta and turquoise stripes on them. When I came up with the idea of actually creating an imaginary character to fill the window and to create an environment around that woman's personality, the windows took on a life of their own. All of the uh, chapters end in a quote, and I love Princess Diana's quote, being a princess isn't all it's cracked up to be. With each one of these characters, there was a lot of research that was involved. For Alexandria Tombs, we created a backdrop and created our own hieroglyphics using um, some of the things that were actually in the window, like you'll see the leopard skin bench is one of the hieroglyphics. I don't know that there's still ever been a lady bullfighter, but I loved the idea of her alone in her dressing room backstage behind the bull ring. In the case of Sherlock Holmes, we went back and actually created a mystery that she was solving. The red sofa with the velvet, actually, I bought from a dealer who told me that, in fact, it had been part of a, a bordello at one time. What we couldn't find, we did, we printed out photographs of Africa, but what we couldn't find were sketches, so I did sketches of animals and faces that we signed Iris. So I guess I'm Iris as well, in a small part. People keep saying to me that every time they look at this book they see something different and that it's something that um, makes them smile and says that they have their own sort of, aha, that's what that was, aha, that's, that's why they did that.